Hello, my name is Cristóbal Colom. I am partner at LK Consulting, based in Madrid and a member of our industrial and consumer practices with a particular interest in the automotive sector. Post-COVID, um, the automotive sector faces a new set of challenges. Customers are moving away from car ownership towards the concept of using a car as a service. For example, subscription, sharing, leasing and renting. And as consumer sentiment changes, the automotive sector is starting its own journey from purchase to service provider. One of the factors behind this change is a shift in how consumers view the link between vehicles and status. Increasingly, cars no longer reflect power and importance. The transition to electric vehicles, EVs, is a major disruptor for the industry. There is a lot of uncertainty amongst consumers around the expense of EVs and the lack of infrastructure. Future bans on internal combustion engines and curbs on emissions legislate against conventional vehicles, making EVs as a logical choice. Supply chain issues and ongoing semiconductor crises are holding back production and causing long delays for consumers. But the big car brands all recognize that their market is shrinking and they are busy reducing investment and hitting their suppliers very hard. The automobile sector is on the cusp of reinvention, moving from a product based to a service based industry and making digital capability more important than a brand. Our job is to help clients make this transition. There are many in the industry who still believe that the disruption caused by COVID was temporary and that normal service will soon resume. This is not true. One of the biggest changes will come from China. Emissions legislation kept Chinese cars out of the Western market, but with the switch away from the polluting internal combustion engine, the market is said to be flooded with cheap electric vehicles from China, leaving many big industry brands unable to compete. There will be fewer OEMs as industry players consolidate. And for those that survive, the value proposition is evolving to take in mobility, connectivity, economy, and simplicity. Managing supply chains is going to be even more vital. The lithium and rare earths needed for EVs are finite in supply. And with much of these limited supplies controlled by Russia and China, securing what is needed is a crucial challenge we are helping clients with. Another way we are helping clients is with the creation of commercial digital twins, a method for virtually modeling business strategy and playing out the scenarios without impacting day-to-day -day operations. The big thing in 2023 will be more uncertainty and no return to the old days. The Chinese OEMs are entering Europe and the US aggressively. This boom in Chinese vehicles won't hit the premium brands too hard, but it will really impact the rest of the pack. There will be continued disruption and turbulence in the supply chain. The recession will create issues in car ownership as discretionary spend declines, and a boom will occur in car as a service model, so subscription, sharing, renting, and leasing. All of these disruptions will drive big changes, with mergers and consolidation taking central states. There are great opportunities for businesses with a clear view of the road ahead and the right strategy in place. Our unique experience and expertise mean we have the insights clients in the automotive industry need. We are working hard to help clients understand the road ahead and prepare for their journey to survival.